Good day and greetings from the Great White North. My name is Prickly Poo and welcome to day 350 of a year of change. I know we should be doing a milestone of some sort. Um, you know, we were doing like every 50 or every 100 days, but we're so close to the, I don't want to say the end of our year, but we're so close to hitting that one year mark. We're kind of going to gloss over the 350, but happy 350 for any of you out there that are still doing the every 50. Um, it'd be just kind of weird to do it now and then in two weeks. We have two weeks left. We're at the end of week 50 at this point. So, yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, but I wanted to bring something up, especially now during this the last couple of weeks. And I've shared a little bit of this throughout the week, but I wanted to save up for this. So I was hoping it was going to get better, and it simply isn't. But, um, I mean, earlier in the week I had talked about, um, you know, that I had been having some weird cravings and some weird dreams and stuff like that. And, you know, in general, we try to stay, you know, practical through the whole thing. Um, and in a way that sort of means, you know, we, we don't want to sort of really get bogged down in, I don't know, shitting on ourselves or feeling, not really feeling sorry for ourselves so much as beating ourselves up. But um, a lot of the stuff that we see that, you know, with weight loss stuff is... And this sort of goes back to the story that I was uh, reading a couple of days ago as well, where it's, you know, someone has their horrible story that we all share, you know, beaten up as a kid, bullied as an adult, felt like shit, and you just, you got in that cycle of eating and feeling bad and eating and feeling bad and everything. And then they start to lose weight, and it generally, it turns into something that's really super, super positive, which I can, I get it. I understand that it's, yes, it's very good. We've had some really good moments ourselves where things are going really, really well, we're having a good time with it, it's, you know, we feel like we're making progress and everything is really good. But I find that if you do that all the time, if it's always like, oh, you can do this and rah, 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 go, 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 then what happens is that you eventually get to a point, it has, it's done this with me anyway, when I'm watching these, I'm like, there's, it, you make it look so easy and it simply isn't. And it can get really, really discouraging when you get to that point where, you know, yeah, it's easier for you. You're enjoying the exercise that you're doing. You're going, oh, steamed vegetables. These are so good. You're like, no, I still, I don't like them. It's still, you know, picky over here. And, you know, I still have cravings over here and it doesn't seem to be bothering you. And, I mean, it hasn't been easy. I mean, we've tried to make it as easy as we possibly can over the past year to get to where we are now. But we've still had some really rough days. And right from the very beginning, I always wanted to be able to share that with you guys. And to say, you know what, it's it's not going to be, well, things are shitty now, and then, oh, look, I'm exercising and losing weight and everything is grand for the next, you know, six months. I still have really, really rough days. And this week, especially, has been insanely difficult for me to get through all the way across. And that's sort of what I want to bring up today, just to let you know that 50 weeks in, I'm still having some of the same issues that I had at week one. And I talked to, about this earlier on in the week where it's actually getting to a point where I'm having dreams about food, which is never a good sign. And all this week, I've been just going nuts, craving everything that I shouldn't be having. And I know that our, our discussions have sort of leaned more towards bad food throughout this week. And I think that's a part of it is because in my head, I've just been craving stuff like crazy. Um, just all the stuff that's been bad for me, like, you know, hot dogs and hamburgers and pizza and cake and ice cream and all this stuff, even stuff that I don't even like. Like if I just say, oh, I'll just have 10 pounds of dark chocolate. Like I, I didn't seem to care. It's just been really, really rough all week trying to get through this. And um, I haven't buckled. I haven't, you know, gone out and bought candy and cookies and chips and stuff like that. I've stuck with it throughout the week, but it has been really, really difficult for some reason. And I think part of that is that in my head, I'm thinking, you know, the year's almost up. So when the year's up, I can do what I want. And then, you know, thinking, well, I could do it a little bit early. I it's only a couple of weeks away. And I do know that at the end of the year, I'm probably going to take a day and celebrate. I'm going to go out and drink with friends, or I'm going to have one day where I go, you know what, I'm going to undo a week's worth of work. I'm going to have, you know, I'm going to have pizza or I'm going to have something. And I know that we've really tried hard throughout this entire year to not cut out any foods. And I still haven't, and I still stand by that. But I had a friend of mine actually say to me, um, you know, because I was saying, like, I just, I want everything that's bad for me right now. And I've been wanting it like this for a week straight. And they said, well, I thought this was really more about moderation. Why don't you have some? 
We just have some. And it is. It, it has been about moderation. We can still have cakes and, you know, not cakes, uh, but cake. And we can have a hamburger if we want. We can have hot dogs. We can have whatever we want. We can have the pizza with extra cheese and stuff. But I told him, I told him, I done told him, I said, you know, it has been about moderation. But the way I am right now, I'm not in any position to actually exercise that in any way. It's been really tough. And I knew that if I started something, I'm just, I'm going to go overboard. Now, again, we talked about this too, that I, in my head, I'm thinking I'm going to go overboard, which right now is probably, you know, two hot dogs. <laughs> but, you know, I think that because normally I would go, okay, well, I'm going to have five hot dogs. And I'm going to have a bowl of nachos, or a plate of nachos, a bowl of nachos. A bowl of cheese, there we go, plate of nachos, and all the bad stuff that I've been talking about all week, which I maybe that has sort of contributed to it as well. Like, stop talking about it, you dumb shit. Like, this is why you keep going, I want this now, because I've been talking about it all week. Um, you know, and in my head, I think, well, that's what I'm going to end up doing, and chances are I'm going to eat, you know, a third, or even, a, actually less than that, because I'm eating about a sixth or a seventh, one-seventh less than um, I have been before, so I'm going to eat a fraction of what it was, and then I'm going to go, oh, that binge didn't really work out all that well at all, did it? But... I, I just, I don't want to get to that point. And normally I would say, okay, you know what? I can go and I can buy something that I've wanted for a while. I can indulge that craving. And I kind of did that with a Caesar salad, which again, went overboard on that one. Um, but it, for, it didn't, it didn't quite do it. It didn't, it didn't satisfy that craving that I thought it was going to. I just spit it myself. Blech. Um, so I, I've been dealing with that all week long and it's been really really tough to a point where it's just no i i know that not that i'm cutting out food and saying oh, i can't have that i know that right now today at this stage the <laughs> at this stage the way that i am right now um i can't go out and buy that stuff if i do i'm going to eat all of it and i don't want to do that i want to end this year on a high note and but having that finality like that sort of deadline saying that okay well the year is up I know that there is there is a bit of an end to it, and I think that might be contributing to this as well, because in my head, I'm subconsciously thinking, well, then I'm done. And I know that I'm not. I'm going to keep on going. I'm going to keep updating you guys, you know, probably every, I don't know, 25, 50 days. And then I've got a second series in mind that I want to do as well. So it's going to continue on, and I want to keep losing weight. I want to get down to, you know, the weight that I want to get to. Um, but for me, there's just sort of, I know, a celebration thinking that year is up. Um, and maybe that's it, or maybe getting close to that hundred pound mark as well. There's sort of two milestones that are converging and it's just going all over the place. Um, but I haven't really sort of sat and thought about it, but that's really, I think in my head that subconsciously, that's why this is happening. Um, and it could just very well be that I haven't had really any bad food in a very, very long time. And I just kind of want candy or chips or something. Um, I do have popcorn, so I could try that. That might work. Have a bag of popcorn. It's not too, too bad. Sodium is through the roof and I'll probably pass out from it. But it's better than going on, you know, a 6,000 calorie binge. Um, but the main reason why I want to bring this up is that I didn't ever want it to get to a point where, you know, people are watching and going, you know what, this, yeah, you've been doing this for a year. So, of course, it's going to be easier for you. And that you can say, well, we still have a struggle that we have to go through, but it's not the same. You're exercising, you're, you know, eating properly, stuff like that. I still have, in this case, an entire week where it's just as bad as it was, you know, 80 pounds ago. And I think that I'm still going to have these moments from time to time. And eventually, I'll get to a point when I can indulge in them and say, you know what, I'm going to get a pizza. I'm, I'll probably be okay. I just don't think that, and I mean, even, you know, two weeks ago, I probably could have done it. And two weeks from now, I might be able to do it. But this week, right now, I don't think it's a smart idea. Because I'm going to start and I'm not going to want to stop. Um, and I mean, we our willpower is much stronger now than it was when we started a year ago. So I think it's going to be a little bit easier if I do start that I can go, okay, that's, that's, that's enough. I've killed two hookers and I've had five pizzas. And you're just sort of waking up in a blur going, all right, not quite sure what happened. But I think that's enough for today. Um, I think we can get to that point a lot sooner. Um, so maybe one and a half dead hookers and then we'll be okay but uh, the way i feel right now that right now would be the kind of to give you an idea of how bad this week has been um this has been the first week in a very very long time i thought you know it would be great a tub of icing 
<laughs> it's been that not quite that bad, but it's been that bad pretty much. Um, and especially even today, I'm just like I just want to eat everything. Um, yesterday when I was doing my treadmill, and this is sort of adding to that as well, that my Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I mean, I do my treadmill every day, which is fine. I didn't do it on Sunday, but I, I do it every day, um, aside from last Sunday. But I have my walking days, and then I have my exercise days. And my exercise days, those are Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So when I was doing my treadmill yesterday, I started walking, because I'm thinking this is my last day doing this, and I just I wasn't feeling it. I got about three minutes in to my first 10-minute batch of jogging, and I was like, I don't want to do this. And at, immediately at that stage, that's when it started clicking, going, you know, this week has been really bad. I've been craving a lot of stuff. I've withheld it. You know, I've been good that way and said, no, I just, and it's not that I don't want to do it or that, oh, I simply can't have it. That's bad. But at this stage, I know that, I, you know, I'm going to undo a lot of stuff and I don't want to do that. I want to keep going strong. And so I thought, you know what, just go push yourself through. I mean, it's, this is part of the exercise thing that we have to do as well. When we just go, I just really don't want to do it. I wasn't sick. I wasn't sore. I was just feeling lazy and didn't, I didn't want to do it. Um, but I did it anyway. And then my second set came along and then my third set. And I was able to actually get through all three, which made me feel so much better. Not from like, ooh, endorphins from running. Just, you know what? I wasn't a lazy shit. I went through and I, I got through it at all. So that made me feel better. Um, and then being able to stick with this throughout this really, really tough week makes me feel better. And I think I'm going to have a little bit of progress this week. Um, maybe a pound or two. But even if I don't, at least I know, you know, it could have been a hell of a lot worse if I just sort of let myself go throughout this week. But I wanted to share it with you so that you don't think that it's, you know, even 50 weeks in, it's not easy. It's never going to be easy. We've tried our best to make the transition as smooth as possible and to try to avoid these as much as we can. But I'm going to have these for the rest of my life. I'm going to have weeks where I just want to eat everything. Um, it... Just when we see weight loss stuff, I find that a lot of it is super, super positive, which I can understand is good. I mean, there's some of it that you kind of have to go, yeah, all right, yeah, I'm going to sort of get through that. And, you know, but as we brought this up yesterday as well, that false positivism really I find annoying because there are some times that you go, no, I just, I, let me feel shitty. Let me be in a bad mood. I'm not going to take it out on people. Just let me be in a bad mood. Let me sit there and go, you know what? I just, I feel like shit today. I'm still going to do stuff. I'm still going to exercise. Um, you know, even if it's sort of a moderate exercise, if it's one of your off days or if it's your moderate day or whatever it is, I'm still going to do my stuff. I'm still going to watch my calories. But let me be discouraged. Let me feel like shit just for a bit. Let me be melodramatic and feel sorry for myself. <laughs> um, I think it's important that we at least acknowledge that because... If you are just constantly, no, everything is awesome and, oh, the water is delicious, you know, and all these things that you see so common with weight loss stuff that it really does sort of come across like, yes, of course you're enjoying it. It's easy for you. You're not having the same struggles. You're not having, you know, entire weeks where you just want to eat, you know, bags of chips and buckets of cheese and packs of, you know, whatever. Um, you're obviously, you're enjoying your health food. You really like it. You eat like a bird. You're exercising two and three hours a day and you're loving it. Yes, it's easier for you. And I don't want to put that across. That I mean, I try as hard as I can to stay on track and say, you know what? Yes, when we have rough weeks, we need to keep going. But that's the practical aspect of it, that we can have these shitty weeks where you just you want to fucking eat. I don't care what it is. I just want to go and eat a mouthful of sugar and then a handful of butter and then just sit back and just go, oh, it's so good. <laughs> I know it's going to taste like shit if I actually do it, but in my head, I'm thinking, you know, this would be great. And it's been like that all week. So I'm hoping that it's going to sort of die down over the next couple because we've got two weeks left and I don't want to end these last two weeks like this. Um, but it is tempting to sort of go, you know what, I, I could indulge in that a little bit. It'll be okay. And I don't want to do that for the tail end of this. Once I hit 100 pounds or, you know, 100 pounds and the year. So it's, the year's going to come before the 100 pounds does. Um, then yes, I think I'll probably take a day, spend some time, go out with friends, have a few drinks and not worry about my calories and have some, you know, appetizer things or whatever. Um, that is a time that I think, okay, then I'll be all right. But even if I was to, even if I was at the hundred pound mark right now, um, I don't think it would be wise because I think I really would go overboard. I probably would end up making myself sick because I can't gauge that binge eating anymore. 
Um, it's just been so long since we've had it. But I wanted to share with you guys and let you know that these cravings still happen. Um, and they fucking come with a vengeance. This week has been insanely tough all the way around. Like, I've stopped actually, you can go up and look at my diary. I actually stopped getting the extra, like, the extra coffee at work. I know that was sort of part of the plan anyway. But the only thing that's really there is like a chocolatey coffee thing. And even that, I wanted to sort of sort of cut back a little bit that way. That might be adding to it as well, because there is some caffeine in there. But anyway, there are a whole slew of things. We've seen that so many times before. There are a ton of, you know, factors that go into, you know, contributing contributing factors, I should say, um, that go into something like this. So it's not just one thing. I'm saying, well, if I do this, then that'll get rid of it. Um, I just wanted you guys to know that I'm still going through the same shit that I did in week one and week two and week three. Um, they're very few and far between the, and you know, it's, it's easier to deal with. I don't think I would have been able to go through an entire week like this, um, back at week 10, but because we've been changing so much and because we've made such progress, it's, I don't know if it's necessarily easier, um, you know, dealing with it, just, we can manage the cravings a little bit better. Um, enough that I can say, no, I'm just simply not going to go out and buy this stuff as much as I want to, but I think it's important to let, at least let you know that this isn't easy. We, we've tried. I mean, we're making it as easy as we can, but it's not all positive. It's not all, well, yes, I enjoy my exercise and I do. I enjoy the fact that, you know, the mental state I'm in afterwards when I think, okay, I did something. I have accomplished something. It's not really like a physical thing. It's more of a, no, you know what? I, I wasn't a lazy shit. I pushed through. I did my three batches of whatever you call them, three sets, I guess you would call. Um, and so, yeah, that makes me feel like I've got some sense of accomplishment. Um, you know, not going out and buying an entire cheesecake and sitting in the dark and not crying at all while I eat it. That is a sense of accomplishment as well. So that's the feeling that I get from it. And, but I still have it. It's still rough. I'm still going through the same stuff. I still want, you know, burgers and fries and all the bad stuff. Um, and at some point when it's not as intense, I can have some of that stuff. But right now, I don't think it's smart for me anyway. So I just sort of wanted to share this so that if you are going through the same thing, you're not alone in this. You might be sitting there going, you know, I've been doing this for a year. I still want my chips or I want my chocolates or I want my cakes or cookies or whatever it is that was your weakness. Um, you know, I still, that craving is still just as strong as ever. Mine are too. And I still go through them. And I probably always will. But we're a lot better at handling it now than we ever were before. And I think that comes from just taking our time and making sure that our pace was correct throughout this year. But we've got a couple of weeks left to go through. Um, tomorrow we're doing another update as well, or another change, I should say. One of our final, actually, you know, it might even be our final change. I gotta double check that. I didn't prepare properly. Um, just, you know, and then that probably is gonna be the actual, like the change itself that we're gonna be doing. Um, but I want to end these two weeks really strong and I know I'm not going to hit my hundred pound mark, but I don't give a shit at that point. <laughs> and actually I was starting to do the math and I forgot that when I very first started this, I had already had a bit of a break. So I've been measuring myself from my heaviest onward, um, as to where things have been going. So technically during this year, I, there's no way I'm going to get a hundred pounds, but I'll be able to figure out, you know, how much I've lost at that point. Um, but I know I'm not going to reach that, so I'm not really striving for it right now. I'm just sort of trying to stay focused and keep things consistent all the way through so that eventually I know what I will do. And when I do, I'll update you guys. So that love that. But for right now, I'm going to leave this video here. So thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please vote the like button for me. And in the meantime, keep yourself warm and fuzzy, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.